Welcome to Kitco News. I'm Niels Christensen, and we're here at the uh, Yukon uh, Mining Investment Conference. Um, I'm joined by Thomas Horton, uh, Pembridge uh, Resources, uh, VP nice of Project Development. Um, so the big news is you are buying the Minto mine. Absolutely, yeah. So yeah, there's, well, there's actually two sort of major bits of news in the past uh, week to ten days. So. Firstly, that we have signed a prepay and offtake agreement with a major Japanese trading house. And uh, that's, a, that's a great bit of news going into our equity roadshow, which, is our, which we announced a few days ago. Uh, so we will be raising uh, 40, million, uh, in, uh, 40 million US dollars, um, and that'll be covering the purchase price. Uh, who will we'll be paying capstone. So you, you have to raise 40 million. Um, is that going to be a chat like in this in this market? Like how, what's what's that going to be like in this market? I mean, it's, it's a really interesting question, actually, because um, at the Mining Alliance uh, conference today, uh, I've, I've had that question from from everyone that I've spoken to. And they're like, oh, you know, things things are a little bit different in uh, in Canada at the moment. Like, yeah, I know we're not a cryptocurrency or in cobalt or we're in cannabis. Um, but the speculative money is in those sectors at the moment in, mm -hmm. in Canada. Mm -hmm. London is a different market. They're, they're a lot more tuned towards cash flow generative businesses. And uh, we're lucky that we are acquiring a cash flow generative business. And um, the, yeah, the, the, the brokers are ready to go. Um, we will be doing majority of our marketing over in, in Europe, uh, mostly London. Uh, but we will come over to Canada as well for, uh, for a couple of days for, for you know, the, the, the usual suspects. Is, is now the time to be buying copper? Like is, is yeah, good question. I mean, I think uh, we've seen in the last couple of weeks a spike in the copper price. And, uh, and that has been a, as a result of uh, labor unrest within a couple of the uh, major copper producing uh, mines and, and jurisdictions. And this is, a, this is a theme that will probably continue for the rest of the year. Um, but uh, coupled with that, uh, the, you've also got supply disruption from changes in uh, political outlook to mining, going the DRC, Zambia, um, as well as Indonesia as well. Those are all major copper producing jurisdictions which have politically uh, an unstable platform at the moment. Um, and Global growth from a demand side is is still synchronized, so the outlook look, look, looks great. And then the sort of the, the cherry on the top is electric vehicles. Everyone loves to talk about electric vehicles at the moment, and obviously <laughs> copper is a large constituent of electric vehicles. Um, so yeah, so those sort of three things: supply, demand, as as well as the sort of the EV. I think the outlook looks looks great. What's the potential for growth? Um, it, like, yeah, so there's there's a huge amount of potential for growth at Minto. Um, the, the one thing that, that we need to do as soon as we get the keys in our hands is exploration drilling. Um, this is something that has not occurred for quite some time at the mine. Since the beginning of 2013, um, that much uh, has been spent on exploration drilling. Yeah, absolutely, zero. And the reason for that is it's a non-core asset to Capstone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Funds have been diverted to Pinto Valley, which moves the, di moves the dial for them. Minto, as a smaller operation, doesn't. But that provides an opportunity for us to put 10 million, uh, as our program, it will be 10 million of uh, US um, dollars into the ground, split between infill and step out drilling. And we need to get the reserve life up. We've got three and a half to four years of mine life mm -hmm. currently mm -hmm. at the mine. Um, you know, we, we, need to, we need to double that to at least be taken seriously. Um, thank you very much for, uh, for coming on the show. Uh, congratulations. It's, uh, wel pleasure. welcome to the Yukon, I guess. Is, yeah, uh, thank you very much. We're, we're very excited to, uh, to get, our, get our hands dirty and hopefully we'll be spending a long time here. Excellent. Thank you very much for watching Kitco News. Uh, stay tuned for more coverage from Dawson City.